I think um, there's a lot less uh, work out there. I think uh, no shortage of RFPs, as I mentioned previously. I think um, their clients um, are getting a lot more from their designers, definitely. They're really making us uh, really work uh, harder, I guess, and become a little more creative. But whether they're willing to spend the money in terms of the design, I think that's uh, um, that we'll have to wait and see, you know, the results of some of the projects. But um, I feel um, cutting the budgets all the time, I mean, we really lose the layers of design that um, are really key to making that design a luxury product if we're working on a luxury hotel, for instance. So every time we having to value engineer something or replace it for something else, you can start to see the design diminish and um, you know thank goodness we do mock-up rooms for a lot of our clients and we're able to assess those mock-up rooms which we're looking at now um, one in particular and you know where a client just didn't want to enhance the project with um, various different finishes and materials um, we've had to really scale back on that and now they have a look at it they're really think rethinking you know, now we have to go back and add, which actually, you know, when we're designing, we design holistically um, to make sure that the design works in all angles, actually, whether it's materials, the design, coming up with some creative ideas. But um, yeah, seeing a mock-up now and then thinking, okay, how do we fix it? It's the, the wrong, way of, wrong way to do it, I think. So unfortunately, but it's the way it is. Yeah. It's all budget driven and it just really depends, but we have clients who totally respect uh, the work we do. Um, they really want to realize the design we do and whatever we specify, they're willing to go with that. And, um, you know, and like I gave an example with a mock-up room, we're currently doing that also for another client. They haven't um, compromised on anything and they really want to make sure we realize the design. So I have several clients like that, but I think, you know, on the whole, when um, they actually work out the budget for the whole hotel, they do try and value engineer certain um, materials. So we make sure we're getting the best, uh, you know, we can still do that somehow, but we have to do that creatively. So there are ways we can do it without stripping everything. So. Uh, we work with the client to manage that, but budgets are maybe less. I don't know if there's any guidelines per se, but you know, sometimes I really, I fancy getting all the design firms together and say that we should really stick together um, to keep a, you know, a, a balance, you know, and not go under our standards. Because there are certain standards, you know, and I think, pretty well much. It's never a great difference between all of us, you know. I think uh, we just shouldn't really undercut ourselves and um, it just ruins the market actually at the end of the day, you know. So unfortunately um, it is very competitive and people are willing to go really low but you know we lose a lot of projects I'm always told that we're way too expensive and and I would have thought we were kind of in the mid in the mid range to some of the other firms you know so yeah it's just unfortunate but there are no guidelines the guidelines is we should stick to our guns actually more than anything and if we do I think uh, clients have to come around to that but then uh, you know there are certain clients who are willing to spend the money and they really trust in the firm so whether it's our firm or another firm they really believe in that service and you know that's what they pay for and they get that service and get the results so you know they haven't been burnt before so or maybe they have been burnt before so they just know and they know what they will get when they realize you know coming to a, a an international firm or a, a good firm local firm here in Dubai so it's about the service and the design and the creativity, so, but there are no rules, unfortunately. I still like to do a lot more work in the region. Um, uh, we'd like to do specific work, um, some very specialised work, I think. I'd like to do a little bit more interior branding, which we've really focused a lot on over the last uh, three, four years. 
that's been exciting. I think a lot of design firms don't do that because it's not like a normal project. It's actually creating a, a brand. So I think for me that would be nice. And I also think uh, just staying above water at the moment, you know, with the market uh, being a little bit more competitive, I think. Um, but we, are, we have been very fortunate. We just finished uh, working on a project in Corfu and we're looking at a little bit more European projects coming on board. So I think over the next few years, uh, we're gonna be doing some work around uh, the European region. So yeah, kind of excited about that.